Hey guys, it's Miss Ashley here with your enrichment time today. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and hopefully I can make my face disappear in just a second. Um, what I'm going to do is talk to you about Memorial Day. So let me see if I can just get rid of me, maybe as we do this, because I want you to see this whole screen. So today we're going to talk about Memorial Day, because guess what? You have Monday off of school, but do you know why? It is about Memorial Day. So what I'm doing is, this is our holiday pages and our news to you, and it starts way back, well, actually in August, before school starts, and it goes through the holidays we've had in September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and now it is May. So what we're going to do is look at um, this article about Memorial Day because I want you to know why we are celebrating on Monday and why you have the day off of school. So we're going to read a news article today and then I was going to share a link with you for a video and I realized that you may not have access to the same account. So Hopefully I took my face off of here. So what I'm going to do is go over the pay, the article and then I'm going to show a video about holiday facts and fun about Memorial Day so you can learn a little bit more about that. So Memorial Day is on May 25th. It is on Monday, and so we've talked a lot about a caption for a photograph. This caption says, a cemetery for U.S. soldiers. So if you have ever seen a cemetery, um, it has got these things called headstones, or sometimes there's little stones at the bottom. Um, I think those are probably called footstones, um, but it... But anyway, there's a marker for the people that are buried there. And then whose flag is this? Who has this flag? The United States. That's where we live. So people honor U.S. soldiers on Memorial Day, the last Monday of May. Can you believe it's the last Monday of May? Many brave U.S. soldiers have died in wars. They died fighting for the U.S. and for freedom. Americans remember these soldiers on Memorial Day by putting flowers and American flags on their graves. Some cities have Memorial Day parades, and many businesses and schools close for the day. People may have cookouts with their family and friends. Memorial Day is a day to remember people. So we may be doing Memorial Day a little bit different this year because we can't really get together with a whole bunch of people. So if you want some more information about Memorial Day, if you want to take a look at this with your kids, you can go to usmemorialday.org, and there is a whole bunch of different informations about informations, whew, information about Memorial Day, and it talks about the about, the history of Memorial Day, how some people observe Memorial Day, and there is a bunch of resources. So if you would like to do that, um, you can do that. Okay. We are going to go on to the next page. So what I will do is I will, um, so this is what we would call the, like the more advanced version of our news. And this would be the regular version. So either way you would like to read that, I can upload this document in the files so that you can have access to that if you want to pull it out and read it again with your child, especially if you want to use these symbol icons, you can do that. Now, um, hopefully my face has gone away and I'm going to play a video for you. It's almost 15 minutes, but it's holiday facts and fun and it's from Discovery Education. So this may be a video that we don't do a whole lot of um, videos in our classroom. So this may be a video that I might have shown in little snippets every day. So like every day this week showing um, just a few minutes. If you want to break it up that way, that is fine. Um, I don't expect that 
your children or my children would sit and watch this um, for all of 15 minutes. But it's actually broken down into five segments. But what I do want to do is um, offer this video to you because I think it's a really good one um, from Discovery Education about Memorial Day. And then there'll be some questions at the end. And I hope that you have a wonderful long weekend. You enjoy your Memorial Day, but you take some time to talk to your kiddos about what Memorial Day means and why we celebrate. It's a rainy day in May, perfect for some indoor activities, such as building model race cars. But for Brett Morrison, it's also a good time to watch the Indianapolis 500 auto race. As with many other fans, the Morrisons enjoy watching the event, especially since last year when they saw it in person. Not only that, the day before the big event last year, Brett and his parents went to a special program at the track where they saw the official pace car that sets the speed and placement of the race cars as the competition begins. They also saw winning autos from years past and midget race cars. These tiny wonders were the Morrisons' favorites. This year, Brett's mother has decided to work on the family's picture collection during the race, an appropriate activity given that it's going to be Memorial Day tomorrow. In fact, before the race each year, a special Memorial Day program is held to honor our country's military men and women. Memorial Day is when people take time to remember relatives who have passed away. Remembering family members is just one way people celebrate the holiday. Another is by sharing stories about grandparents, great-grandparents, and other relatives. Sometimes pictures are used to jog memories. Other times, online albums or social network sites help people recall special times with loved ones long ago. Outdoor activities, such as grilling burgers in the park, having a big barbecue at home, going fishing, or boating, or attending an outdoor celebration. All are typical ways people celebrate Memorial Day. In fact, the holiday is generally seen as the beginning of the outdoor summer season. Besides having fun, there's a more serious side to the holiday. Around the country, people gather to recall the brave deeds and to recite the names of fallen heroes and heroines who gave all they could for their country. Indeed, who sacrificed their very lives to defend our precious freedoms, such as being allowed to speak our minds as long as it doesn't hurt anyone, to worship as we wish, to write whatever we want, again, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Other freedoms we enjoy allow us to select our government officials, have a trial by jury, and gather in groups of our own choosing. Memorial Day began long ago in the 1860s when our country was in danger of being destroyed in a terrible civil war. More than 600,000 soldiers died in the conflict. After the war, it became customary to lay flowers at the soldiers' graves. In time, a special day called Decoration Day was established. On that day, people would decorate the graves of fallen soldiers with flowers. A fair number of towns claim to have held the first Decoration Day event, but most likely, Many of them held the holiday at about the same time.
including a memorial service in 1865 organized by African-American soldiers at a prison camp in Charleston, South Carolina. Nevertheless, Waterloo, New York, is generally given credit for holding the first Decoration Day ceremonies in 1866. Decoration Day was renamed Memorial Day in 1882, and Congress, in the National Holiday Act of 1971, made it an official federal holiday. By that time, President Lyndon Johnson had already proclaimed Waterloo as the official location of the first Memorial Day. And so, this normally quiet community in upstate New York calls itself the birthplace of Memorial Day. Every year, the village holds a large number of events over the holiday weekend. During the three-day observance, many visitors tour the National Memorial Day Museum. There, sightseers find a large number of paintings, displays, artifacts, clothing, and rooms as they would have appeared in the 1860s. A dining room and a living room have mid-19th century furniture, including a bookcase and a desk with writing instruments. Civil War documents, as well as books and pictures, are also on display at the museum. During the Memorial Day weekend, on the museum's front porch, actors portray famous Civil War personalities. One is Clara Barton, a nurse who saved many lives on the battlefield. And of course, President Abraham Lincoln makes an appearance. Not far away, next to downtown Waterloo, a large number of booths are set up in a park during the celebration. There, people browse and shop for craft and art objects, and for refreshments such as ice cream and other snacks. Children may fill bottles with colored sand and then take home sand and bottle art, a favorite activity. Another favorite is panning for gold. Of course, nobody finds real gold when sifting sand like miners did some 150 years ago. But it's fun to pretend. About a block south of the park, locks are found on the Seneca River, which runs through Waterloo. On nearby Oak Island, located in the river, a Civil War living museum is set up each Memorial Day weekend. There, visitors may find women in mid-19th century clothing. They may see a large number of demonstrations, too, and hear explanations. For example, a surgeon explains how he operated in the field with 19th century surgical tools, bandages, and various kinds of medicine. One exhibition visitors find particularly interesting demonstrates how Civil War cannons were prepared for firing. The semaphore demonstration is always a favorite. Semaphore is a system of waving flags to send signals and was used extensively during the Civil War. Visitors also enjoy looking at and handling antique objects, such as a Civil War canteen. Guests see how Confederate soldiers prepared for battle and listen to 19th century American folk songs. Sunshine in thy face was seen Kissing lips it's early morning on Memorial Day, and a small group of veterans, former soldiers, march through Waterloo on their way to a local cemetery, where the American flag is raised, and wreaths are laid to honor the town's fallen heroes. Later in the day, the town holds its big Memorial Day parade. Local politicians make an appearance, as does the Waterloo High School Band. Men in Union Army uniforms march 
along with the village's firefighters and police officers. Of course, Memorial Day parades are held elsewhere in the country, in small towns and big cities. Wreath-laying ceremonies are also held around the country on Memorial Day. The most famous of these is the presidential wreath-laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia, where thousands of American servicemen and women are buried. On Memorial Day, friends and family members visit there to pay homage to their loved ones. At the Vietnam War Memorial in nearby Washington, D.C., people also come to remember relatives and friends. There are also ceremonies at the Indianapolis 500 auto race to remember those lost at war and to honor them. Soon after, the big race is on. When the event is over, the Morrisons talk about what they've seen. Brett remarks that the race was everything he had hoped for, fast and exciting. And Mr. Morrison thinks about the soldiers at the opening ceremonies and about how Memorial Day is a time to remember and honor the heroes and heroines who have sacrificed their lives so that all of us can live in a country with so many freedoms. It's also a holiday with a long history, and it's celebrated in towns and cities throughout the country. Memorial Day, a holiday on which we show our appreciation for those who have sacrificed so much to keep our country safe, strong, and free. Alrighty, guys, there's going to be a short video. True quiz. or false? Memorial Day is considered the beginning of the autumn season. Is that true or false? A freedom Americans enjoy is the freedom of A. Worship, B. Meals, C. Exercise. So one of our freedoms is worship, and that first question was false. It starts the Memorial summer. Day began in the century. Before the holiday was called Memorial Day, it was called A. Veterans Day, B. Soldiers Day, C. Neither A nor B. True or false, the National Memorial Day Museum is found in Washington, D.C. President proclaimed Waterloo, New York as the official location of the first Memorial Day. The river that flows through Waterloo, New York is the A. Missouri, B. Seneca, C. Potomac. What is semaphore? The most famous wreath-laying ceremony takes place at what cemetery? True or false? You can find 17th century rooms at the National Memorial Day Museum. We are going to stop there. Let me see if I can put this back up on the screen. Guys, I hope that you have... Ooh, I got a big face now. I hope that you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day. You have a great break. 
and I will see you back virtually on Tuesday. So no videos on Monday. I will see you again on Tuesday. I love you. Stay safe this weekend.